Well, hello, scrappers. Welcome back to my channel. Mike here. So, what I got here today is something I got from my buddy Ken up in uh, BC, Canada. Okay? And I have a video where I unboxed all the stuff he sent me a while back. I'll put a link to that in the upper right. Check that out so you can sort of get the backstory on this stuff. But what I've got here is a big container, pretty heavy too, of um, the foils off of 150 pounds of ram sticks. Let me zoom in on this a little bit and see if you can see the... Uh, you see all the gold foils in there? Yeah. So that's what we got, but there's a problem. Those gold foils are mixed in with a lot of bits of green conformal coating from off of the ram sticks and some other debris too I see in there. So what I'm going to do is figure out a way to separate the gold from the debris. And uh, I'll split the gold with Ken. Basically I'm doing the work for him so I get a cut. So let me give you another look at what we got here. So there's a lot of a lot of foils in there, but boy, there's a lot of debris too, all mixed in. And there's a little baggie here that, of stuff that still appears to be wet, but it looks like the same stuff, conformal coating chips and um, gold foils. And these foils, they're as fine as gold leaf too, let me tell you. So I'm expecting that most of the weight of this Speaking of weight, let's figure out what this weighs. But I'm expecting that most of the weight of this is the conformal coating rather than the gold. We got, ooh, 1.914 1 kilos. So just short of two kilograms of material here. Plus, well, this has got a little bit of water weight to it. So we're Two kilograms, 12 grams. When I put it all together, plus the weight of the container and the bag. So, uh, not quite that much of material, but still, this container's not that heavy, the bag's not that heavy. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a small scale test because I'm hoping, hoping that I can just uh, hit this stuff with some aqua regia dissolve the gold out of it, filter it, drop the gold, easy peasy. That's what I'm hoping. But, um, I think if it was that easy, Ken probably would have figured that out. So, I think we got some issues here. Probably um, the conformal coating is going to give us some trouble, I'm thinking. And I'm not sure what's going to happen when I hit this stuff with Aqua Regia. So, I'm going to do a small scale test. So, let me put a speaker up here. So let me do just a couple of hundred grams. Oh, this stuff is fine. It flies away. Ooh. Ooh, the least little bit of wind gets it flying. I see gold going everywhere. That's that's a problem. Okay. Okay, so I, I'm going to stop right there. Okay, there's 112 grams of material in that beaker. So I'm going to do a small scale test on that 112 grams of material. And let me, I'll brush what I can see on the bench off into the beaker too. Because there's some gold foils laying around here now after that. So, and then I'll put this in my fume hood and we'll hit it with some aqua region and we'll see what happens. Okay. And then, um, we'll process the rest of it if it goes okay. If it doesn't go okay, we'll figure out some other way to process this stuff. Maybe I'll have to incinerate it first. I don't know. Don't really want to do that either, but uh, I could see that causing these gold foils to go flying everywhere. But uh, let's see what I can do with this small scale test, okay? And in the meantime, what I would like, because it'll probably be the next video, at the earliest before I can tackle the bulk of this stuff is just give me your best guess about how much gold you think there is in 150 pounds of ram chip uh, finger foils. 
Okay, because that's what we got here is the foils from the fingers from 150 pounds of ram chips. So leave a comment. Give me your best guess of how much gold you think I'm going to be able to recover from this stuff. And in the meantime, I'll get this small um, test run going. First, I got to my brush and brush all this errant gold foil into the beaker here that the wind blew out when I was pouring it. Not that it's going to amount to much, but you know. Okay. So let me get this in the fume hood. We'll hit it with some aqua region and see what happens. Okay, so here we are. Got the uh, stuff in the fume hood. Let's put some uh, muriatic acid on it. Pretty much just enough to cover it all well, I'm thinking. You know, got some kind of reaction going on right out of the gate. That's kind of what I was afraid might happen. I mean, I don't even have the heat on it yet. So, it looks like maybe the conformal coating is reacting with it. I'm not sure. But let me put a little heat to it. Medium heat. Nothing crazy. And we'll put some uh, nitric acid on it. And make some aqua regia. And see what happens. I don't know, that's some... That's some ugly, sludgy-looking stuff already. But we'll, we'll hit it with some nitric acid. And... Uh, see what happens when the stuff warms up. So there's about uh, a little over 4 milliliters. I'll give it 6 milliliters. I can always add more later. Okay. So we'll see what that does. So we'll just let this sit here and warm up. And uh, I'm hoping this doesn't turn into a tarry mess. But we'll see, I guess. Hey, this is why I'm getting a cut. If it was easy, anybody could do it, right? Right. Well, as this stuff heats up, it's getting a little foamy. It's developing quite a head on it. It's starting to look like St. Patrick's Day green beer. Huh. Now I can see gold foils embedded in that foam too. So I'm not sure what's going on. It's only just starting to warm up. I've got a lot of fog going on inside the beaker too. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on in that beaker. Some sort of strange chemical reactions. I'm thinking it's that conformal coating. I was afraid this wasn't going to be easy. That's why I was going to do a small test first rather than going all in on that big container full of foils and uh, conformal coating. Yeah, it's getting foamier by the moment. Huh. I don't know. This could get ugly. We'll see. Okay, it's a couple minutes later. And, well, we got some orange fumes in there, which tells me that we've got metal reacting, but we are getting some serious foam, too. Let me see if I can stir this foam down. Bust it up. Ooh, that seems to be making it worse. Uh, I'm thinking... I'm thinking we may not have enough liquid in here for the amount of material I put in there. So let me put, uh, put some more muriatic acid in here. And I'm going to turn the heat down, way down. We weren't crazy on the heat anyway, but. I still see a lot of foils as I stir this. There's a lot of foils in there. Basically, I think we're making a pudding here. Ugh. Okay. I 
I don't know about this. Let's see what happens here. I'd like it to just quietly react, but that doesn't seem to be in the cards. Just want to make sure we don't have a big massive bubble over though. Seems to be have calmed down a lot right now, but I put a lot of cold muriatic acid in there, so see what happens when it warms up again. Okay, this foam is just getting out of control again. I think what's happening is as the uh, gold foils react with the aqua regia, we're producing uh, nitrogen dioxide gas, and this pudding-like stuff in here is just uh, inflating with the gas. Can knock it down some here. I can see that this is not going to work on the large scale. It may not work on this scale. I don't know. And there's still a whole lot of gold foils in here that have not reacted yet. I can see them down here in the dark green liquid as I stir it, and I can see them embedded in the foam up here. So, okay, I think I'm going to try and get through this reaction with this little bit of material, but obviously I'm going to have to try something else to deal with the bulk of it, because this just, this just isn't working worth an arm. Huh. Okay. Let me see if I can just nurse this stuff through the reaction. Get all those foils dissolved, or at least the bulk of them. Okay, this is, it's not going well, but it seems to have stabilized. The foam doesn't seem to be getting any worse. We're producing orange fumes, so the reaction is going on. I have enough liquid in there now between the uh, extra hydrochloric acid I added and the uh, the water I've been spraying on it to knock down the foam that the foam is a little less stiff I guess and what I'm seeing is the bubbles of nitrogen dioxide are coming out the foam kind of relaxes down it sort of puffs up and relaxes down so things aren't getting any worse not getting any better but they're not getting any worse so I'm just gonna let this go and see what happens. See if we can run this to completion. Oh, there's still a lot, a lot of gold foils embedded in the foam. So the stuff in the liquid may be reacting, but I don't think the stuff in the foam is. Gonna have to find a way to, gonna have to find a way to knock that foam down to get everything to uh, react. And so far I haven't had too good, too good of luck at that. So, I don't know, but for now I'm just going to let it sit. It's not getting any worse. The reaction is going, so I'm not going to touch it for now. So it's been a few more minutes, and the foam has really collapsed a lot. I haven't done anything to it. Um, it might be just from, like I said, adding the, the more liquid earlier. It might be from turning the heat down, a combination of both. I don't know. But let me see if I can uh, knock this crud down off the side some. And get it down in where it can actually react. Because there's a lot of gold foils in that stuff on the sides. I'd like to get that stuff down there where it can react in the aqua region. And the foam's starting to reform a little bit. Actually, it's starting to reform pretty well. Keep an eye on that. Yep, this is uh, this is not going to be easy, I can see. Okay, just let it cook a while longer. Okay, so we got a good head of foam on there again. I'm, maybe I should have left well enough alone.
but I'm working up a theory on what's going on here. I'm thinking that the foam probably collapsed because most of the gold down in the liquid had reacted already and we were producing a lot less gas. When I washed the stuff that was stuck to the sides down, there was gold foils in it and it started reacting and producing more gas so we got more foam. That's my working theory about what's going on here. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. So if that's the case, the foam should collapse again soon once all the gold that washed down into the liquid is reacted and it's not producing much more gas. And then we'll just be stuck with what's left, then we'll just be left with what's stuck on the sides again. We'll see if it plays out that way. Yeah, I think my theory was correct. It's a while later. The foam has kind of collapsed downwards again. Uh, we're making less uh, nitrogen dioxide gas. So I think that's what's going on. So I suspect if I do this again, wash this stuff down off the sides, down into the bulk of the liquid, the foam will start growing again. Yep, yeah, it's starting. But, it's a lot less gold in it now. So, I think we're actually, uh, we're actually nearing the end here. The reaction's about done. Get the last bits of gold in that foam down into the bulk of the liquid and get them to react. Yeah, try something else here. Change the spray pattern. Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right, it's a little foamy, but not too bad. I'll just let that sit and react for a while. I'll give it a good stir then and see if I still see foils down in the bulk of the liquid or if they're all finely dissolved. All right, this has just been sitting here for a while. Not much is going on. I'm not seeing any more really uh, orange fume evolution. You stir it up. Uh, I don't know what that is. There's something in there. Some kind of solids. I can't really tell whether there's any gold foils in there or not. I mean, it doesn't really look like gold foils. Let me uh, try scooping some up with a spoon and see what it looks like. Yeah, uh, that looks like some sort of debris, but I don't really see any gold in it. So I'm thinking, yeah, there's a lot of debris there. It looks like maybe chip resistors, maybe some MLCCs, and, well, whoa, miscellaneous debris. Don't know what all it is, but it looks like all the gold is in solution. So, that's good. Okay. That was a hard fought battle. And I don't want to do the bulk of that material the same way, so I'll have to figure something else out. But it looks like maybe I can uh, kill the heat on this. I think the reaction's done. And um, I'll need to denox it and filter it. I'm a little worried about denoxing though because that's going to produce some gas. We might have foam issues again. Let me uh, let me mix up some uh, some sulfamic acid uh, solution and we'll try denoxing it and see what happens. Okay, I've got my usual saturated solution of sulfamic acid here that I like to use to denox with. Now this could create a lot of foam. Let's see. No. Huh. You know what that tells me? 
definitely a little bit of foaming. But that tells me that most of the nitric acid in this stuff got used up. There's no excess nitric acid in there. Okay. Didn't see any gold left. But I assume that reactions with all the debris in there have eaten up all the nitric acid. Okay. So, normally I depend on the sulfamic acid reacting with um, any leftover nitric acid to produce uh, sulf some sulfuric acid, which will uh, get rid of the lead. So I'm going to have to add a little bit of sulfuric acid to this because there doesn't seem to be any excess nitric left in there. So let me get a little, ex little sulfuric acid in there, just a couple milliliters anyway. Okay, so here goes a couple milliliters of sulfuric acid. And I'm going to let this cool down a little bit. In fact, I'm going to get some ice and put on it, and the ice will cool and dilute it, and then we're going to have to try and filter this mess. It's going to be some green, nasty stuff coming through the filter. It's going to be an ugly gold drop, I'm sure. So, uh, well, we'll just have to deal with it. Let me get some ice on it and cool it down and dilute it. Okay, I got this stuff off of the still warm hot plate so it could start cooling down. Put the uh, ice in it. Oh, it's turned into lime green Kool-Aid, isn't it? Yeah, this is going to be an ugly gold drop. But, uh, nah, what are you going to do, huh? Alright, so we'll let the ice melt. It's going to cool and dilute this stuff. Um, things like lead sulfate, um, silver chloride will drop out of solution. And um, we can filter this and hopefully we'll get a reasonably clean filtrate. Although I'm not going to get my hopes up too high. It's going to be nasty green opaque probably. And it's probably going to be an ugly gold drop. But uh, eh, we'll see what we get. So I'm just going to let this cool and dilute. Okay, the uh, ice is almost all melted, so let's get this stuff vacuum filtered and see if we can drop any gold out of it. Boy, we've got a lot of liquid here for not a lot of gold. Definitely going to have to find a better method for treating the bulk of this stuff. Because this just, this just isn't going to work, I don't think, on a large scale. Well, Ken, you've uh, you've set me a challenge. That's for sure. Uh, and of course, it's cloudy. It's coming through pretty cloudy. I might have to uh, filter it a couple of times. We'll see. I don't know what that cloudiness is, but. Um, Maybe once the filter pores get a little plugged up, I can uh, run the liquid through a second time. It'll come out a little clearer, maybe. We'll see. But yeah, we definitely got some cloudiness to it. Could be lots of things. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff in here. From the conformal coating, um, there were some um, chip resistors and MLCCs in there. There could be some silver in here. From those, we might be getting some silver chloride. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be an ugly, dirty gold drop. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some tin contamination. So we might end up with colloidal gold, however much we actually get out of this. So let me filter this stuff all once through here. And then we'll see about maybe filtering it through a second time. Let's see if we can clean it up. Any. Oh, I'll tell you what, yeah. The filter is definitely plugging up. The flow is slowing down. So it's going to take a while to get this stuff through even once. Okay, I'll be back when that's done. Okay, just about done with the first filtration here. This is the debris that's left. And see all that gray stuff in there? I think we've definitely got a silver chloride issue. And uh, if I give you a look 
at the filter over here. Get it to focus. Yeah, I would say we're definitely dealing with a whole lot of silver chloride in this stuff. So, um, those components in there, the chip resistors, the MLCCs, whatever else was mixed in with the foils and the conformal coating, must have had a fair amount of silver in it. In fact, I would say a significant amount of silver. There's a lot of silver chloride here. So that gives me some ideas for the future for how to deal with this stuff. Maybe I should give this a nitric acid boil first before I do anything else. Going straight to aqua regia was a bit of a disaster. But if I give this a nitric acid boil first, maybe I can get all that silver into solution. And then I won't have to deal with it when I do go to aqua regia. Um, so that's a possibility. That's thought for the future. So let me, um, let me get a little bit more of this liquid through. This filter is really plugged now, so if I try to filter this liquid again, it's probably going to take an hour or so, or longer. So, uh, but it looks like it needs to be filtered again. It's very cloudy, and I'm sure it's mostly silver chloride in there. So what I will probably do is dump this out into a clean beaker, and then run it back through one more time and well takes all afternoon takes all afternoon i'd like to get this this material here a little bit cleaner if i can so i'll try that and see how it goes okay yeah filtering this stuff second time it's working like a charm it's coming through a whole lot clearer it is coming through a whole lot slower of course because the filter's plugged now but it's coming through a whole lot clearer yeah, once you uh, plug up the pores in your filter, it will filter out a whole lot smaller particles than it would before. So the fine particles of uh, silver chloride that we've got suspended in this stuff are getting filtered out the second time through. So it's just going to take a while, but we'll end up with a nice clean filtrate, at least as clean as we can get. Uh, this green stuff... I'm thinking mostly the conformal coating. I mean, I guess there could be some copper there from all those other little components in here, but I mean, most of that conformal coating was green. So I imagine it's mostly a green dye we're dealing with. Hopefully it's not getting to get, get it, hopefully it's not going to get in the way of precipitating the gold. And we'll get, get a nice gold drop, although we'll see. Not going to get my hopes up. I think it's going to be an ugly gold drop. All right, we'll be back when the second filtration's done, whenever that is. Sometime this afternoon, probably. All righty, that took quite a while, but we are finally done. Nice, clean filtrate, at least as clean as it's going to get. Particulate free, anyway even though we're not exactly free of this uh, green goo. So, yeah, I don't know what we're gonna get. This could be ugly. So I'm gonna put this in the fume hood. And we'll throw some SMB in it and see what happens. I got a feeling, like I keep saying, it's probably going to be an ugly gold drop. I know there's not a lot of gold in there. And there's a lot of other stuff. So we'll see what we get. It'll probably be a fine dusting on the bottom. May have to wait overnight for it to settle. But enough speculation. Let's get it in a few hood and see what we actually get. Okay, so got my stump out by Bonied. Got sodium metabisulfite in it. That's what's going to precipitate the gold out of solution. So let's put some in. I do hope we get some gold to drop. 
could be a couple things working against us here. All the contaminants in there. We are getting some foam though. That usually tells me that there's enough SMB in there when it's foaming. So we'll see what we get. We'll just let that be. I'm not expecting to see a real color change because of how opaque green it is. Oh, it does seem like it's gotten darker. We'll see if anything actually comes out of solution. So we'll just let it sit. You say you may have to wait until tomorrow morning to see if anything settles out. So be back when something develops. Well, I'd say I'd be back when there's some sort of development. Well, this has gone from very dark green to black. So I'd say that's a development. What could be causing it? Well, we could have colloidal gold in suspension. That's a possibility. Um, the sulfur dioxide from the SMB could be interacting with the chemicals from the uh, Conformal coating creating some sort of black tarish nonsense. That's a possibility. Um, something I'm not thinking of. Or all of the above. So, um, yeah. That's turned pretty nasty. So, I guess we'll just have to sit and wait and see if we get anything falling to the bottom that looks like it might be gold. Might take a while. So, grab some popcorn and a cold drink. We could be here a while. Okay, it's the next morning. This has sat here, and it has, it's really hard to tell. I'll pull it out of the fume hood and give you a better look at it. But the liquid has cleared a lot. There is a film of something on the bottom, which I'm assuming is gold. And there's a film of stuff floating on the surface, which really looks like gold, too. So, uh... Yeah, I'll pull it out of the fume hood and I'll give you a better look at it. You can see that it is kind of transparent and there is a film of stuff on the bottom. And what I'll do is I'll use uh, my water spray bottle and I'll knock this stuff on the surface down so it'll sink to the bottom. It'll get all the gold in one place. Easier to deal with that way. Okay, so I've pulled it out of the fume hood, and you can see it's kind of transparent. It's sort of a dark brown color, but it is quite clear. So whatever particulates were in it, making it black, have settled to the bottom. And I don't know if you can see that, but there is a film on the bottom, and it does look like gold. So probably pretty fine. I think what I'm going to do is I'll just siphon off the liquid and we'll get down to the gold and then we'll figure out what to do, how to deal with it. And then we'll figure out how to deal with the rest of the stuff because this is only like 1 20th of the amount of material I've got to process. And it was a nightmare to do this 1 20th. So i got to figure out a better way. So you guys have ideas out there in the audience. Feel free to chime in down in the, uh, in the comments, okay? So let me get set up for siphoning. I'll siphon off the bulk of this liquid and we'll see what kind of gold we got in the bottom. Okay, so let me get this stuff siphoned down. If you can hear me over the airplane flying over. I don't even live that close to the airport. Seems like every time I try to start filming though, there's an airplane flying over. Okay. Since this stuff is probably pretty fine down here, I'm thinking that siphoning is probably the, the best way to do this. It's going to disturb it the least. And I don't want to get it back in the water column because it took a long time to settle out. And I'll probably speed this up so you don't have to watch the whole thing at real time.
By the way, I'm siphoning this into my temporary stock pot. Just a just a bucket, two gallon bucket. And the liquid's gonna hang out in here for a while and drop any any extra gold it has in it. Because it's a lot easier to get out of here than it is out of the uh, main stock pot. So and then uh once this liquid in here is good and clear, I will uh, decant it off into the main stock pot and periodically I collect the gold out of the bottom of this stock pot. And that's a process that works pretty well for me. It took me a few years to figure out how useful a temporary stock pot is. Okay, I'll give you a look at the gold on the bottom of this beaker. It actually looks like more than I was expecting, but it always looks like a lot when it's wet in the bottom of the beaker. Usually, it's not. So there we are. Here's our gold. Nice little film on the bottom of the beaker. It actually doesn't look as bad as I was expecting. I mean, I can tell that there's some colloidal stuff there, but that's actually a pretty good film of gold on the bottom. So, where do I go from here? That's the question. Um, what I might do is just redissolve this stuff in Aqua Regia and um, set it aside until I have a way of dealing with um, the rest of the material. And then recombine it all together so I get a total weight on everything. Because, yeah, I can tell this stuff's pretty fine. It's going to be hard to deal with. So, I think I'll do that. I think I'll redissolve it in Aqua Regia and brainstorm on ways to further deal with the bulk of the material. Because i got you know, 19 times this much stuff left to deal with. Okay, we're back in the fume hood with it. Let me get the fume hood going. Uh, put in a splash of muriatic acid. It's not going to take much to redissolve that gold. just a few milliliters of uh, nitric acid. That's all it's going to take. Dissolve that. I might not even turn the heat on. It might be done before it even warms up. It's about two and a half milliliters. That might be enough right there. There's not that much gold in there. I could always put in more. put a little bit of heat to it and we'll see if we can get that back into solution and let me brainstorm some uh, some ways to deal with uh, the rest of the material so I think it's pretty clear I can't do the rest of this stuff the way I did my small-scale test that's just not gonna work there's way too much foaming there's way too much other stuff in here that gets in the way of uh, getting the gold to dissolve cleanly and come out of solution cleanly. So, what to do, what to do? Um, I think in an ideal world I would incinerate this stuff and burn off all the um, conformal coating bits in there. Of course this is not an ideal world. So this stuff is so fine that um, any attempt at burning, it's probably just going to spread it all through the countryside. Unless I can do it in some sort of closed container. Uh, but of course, if it's a closed container, oxygen doesn't get in. So I'll have to think about that. Maybe I can, you know, I've been doing a lot of smelting experiments. Maybe I can figure out a way to smelt this in a closed container with some oxidizer. And... Um, yeah, that's a possibility. Uh, also, another possibility is giving it um, a nitric acid boil before I go to Aqua Regia. And uh, the nitric acid might attack the conformal coating. I know it'll attack the other stuff in there. We had a lot of silver chloride issues, so um, 
if I can get the silver out as silver nitrate, which is soluble, I won't have to deal with it as an insoluble precipitate later. So that's a possibility. Give it a, 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 a nitric acid boil before going to aqua regia. So I might try another small scale test in another video where I just do the, um, the nitric acid boil. But you guys feel free to ch chime in. Give me uh, your, your ideas, your thoughts on uh, how I should treat this stuff. Any suggestions would be most welcome. So I think there's a fair amount of gold in there. It's just a matter of getting it out without uh, too much trouble, you know? And um, if you guys provide any good ideas, maybe we'll give them a try too. I got a lot of material here to work with, so I can try a couple of things before I go after the bulk of it. So, yeah, give me your thoughts. Oh, and let's look at what's going on in the fume hood. Well, this stuff has gone back into solution nicely. Uh, that's a much better looking solution there than uh, what we had before. It's the right color. It's nice and clear. So, okay, good. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this uh, Aqua Regis solution in a temporary storage container and just set it aside until I have um, all the rest of the stuff uh, processed. And then we'll combine it all together, drop it, and... Um, then we'll have all the gold in one place. But at least uh, this is cleaned up pretty good. It's good looking stuff. If I drop it again, I'm sure it won't be colloidal anymore. Okay, there's the Aqua Regis solution from our first bit of this stuff that I've processed. And boy, it was a nightmare to process too. Can't do the rest of that the same way. There's just no way in heck I could do that that way. So, going to have to come up with a different way. Got some ideas. Looking for ideas from you folks. So, if you have any suggestions on how best to process this, uh, leave me a comment down below in the video. Suggestion, constructive criticism, whatever. I'm open to all that. Um, and then once we do come up with a good way to process this stuff, I'll run it through and we'll add the first bit we got to it so that we have all the gold together. And remember, I'm looking for the best guesser on how much gold you think there is in this. Remember? If it's 150 pounds of ram sticks, the uh, the gold fingers from 150 pounds of ram sticks. So, give me your best guess on how much gold you think there is in here altogether. Um, I've got some ideas. Looking for your ideas, and um, in the next video we'll try out something different. So, I hope you found this uh, video interesting, educational, informative, whatever. Give it a like. Give it a thumbs up if so. Subscribe to see those future videos that are coming out where I process some more of this stuff and doing all kinds of other stuff too. Interesting stuff. Um, subscribe to see those future videos. Press the little bell icon that YouTube wants you to press to be notified when those new videos come out. As a subscriber, you will be notified when I release a new video. Check out my second channel, Electric Geek 64. Good stuff going on there too, as always. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching this one. Bye.